This video is going to show you how to find the lateral acceleration for a car. This is done as of fall 2020. It seems like every year they keep changing where this information can be found. All right, first, let's talk about what a lateral acceleration is. So the lateral is your side. It's like the side of your ribs or the side of your body. That's what the lateral means. Lateral means moving sideways, something that happens sideways. So the lateral acceleration is uh, an acceleration that's sideways. To find the lateral acceleration, they take a car and they put it on what's called a skid pad. And the skid pad is like a large pavement blacktop, really, really big. And it's got a path, a circular path that it's decided to go on. So they have the car and they travel the car around the circle faster and faster and faster. And they use instruments on board to measure the lateral acceleration. Uh, the old way of doing it was to have the car go around until it lost control. And that was the extreme end of your lateral acceleration. That's what they're doing here with the instrument. They're trying to push it to its limit as well. So we're on the skid pad and we're looking for lateral acceleration. So the lateral acceleration is the acceleration sideways. To go in a circle, you have to have a sideways acceleration. That's known as the centripetal acceleration, but for cars and car enthusiasts, they call it the lateral acceleration. That's important because if you're gonna look it up online, you're gonna look for some key words. Skid pad will be one of those key words and lateral acceleration will be another one. The lateral acceleration is measured in G's. So one G is 9.8 meters per second squared. So a car, typically, its numbers are given something like 0.56 G's or 0.56 G itself. So what does that mean in terms of math? Well, 0.56 times the value for a G. So if I take it to be 9.8, 0.56 times 9.8 is 5.4 meters per second squared. All right, so how do we find this information? Let's say I want to do a search for 2009 Mazda 3. So in the search box, I try to give some details. 2009 Mazda 3 lateral acceleration. So that's exactly what I'm looking for, and that's what I'm telling my search engine to use. So I'm using Google for this. And here are my results as of uh, November 2020. So I've got all these results. And you're going to, this isn't really finding me the answer right away. It's got a sensor to measure the acceleration, the yaw rates. I don't want that. I want to know what the, uh, there's another one, lateral acceleration sensor. I want, ah, specifications. Okay, now I'm getting down to magazines and some other things. They probably have the information I'm looking for. So I'm going to have to look a little bit. So I clicked on one, and here it is. This is from Motor Trend. And as I'm looking at it, I've got to read, and I'm looking through. And it's kind of nice. You can actually just do a search for, like, uh, space and the letter G. That might help. Or Gs. You can look for a search for lateral, or you can do a search for a skid pad on the web page itself. So you're not using a search engine. You're like control F to find something or command um, F on a Mac to find something. And when I do that, I see, ooh, skid pad. That means I'm going in a circle. And so I read a little bit more and it says 0.86 G. There we go. 2008 Mazda. So I'm looking for 2009, but for my project, that's pretty close. That's good. And the nice thing is I happen to know, looking at pictures, it looks like there's not much difference between 2009 and 2008. The next one is 2010. Uh, this is another hit that came on that search, and this is a 2010. And I'm looking for, let's see, I don't see skid pad anywhere, but I did see lateral acceleration in 0.85 Gs, and that's for the 2010. Um, that's pretty close to the 0.86, and actually the 2010 is a year change from all the pictures I've seen. It looks different than the 20, 2009. You may not know that, and it may not matter. Just find something close for the project, and that's fine. All right, let's, say, let's do another little search. Let's look for something for a 2015 Honda Civic. So I typed in Honda Civic 2015. I changed up the order a little bit just to show you it still works. And then I typed in lateral acceleration. Let's see what pops up. So Google, oh, nice. It actually answered the question directly. It said the lateral acceleration was 1.03 Gs. See, lateral acceleration. That's also known for centripetal acceleration. 1.03 Gs, fast laps. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, wait, that's the Honda Civic Type R. That's a racing uh, Honda Civic. That is uh, a little bit more high end than typical. Well, it's a lot high end, uh, like double the price of a regular Honda Civic. Let's see. So here's the sheet. Uh, I can see this is a European website. Well, I'm guessing it's got the price in euros. That's like 50 some thousand dollars. It's in the US. And oh, there it is lateral acceleration and 1.03 G. Wow, that's really big. So that's some ideas of how to search for it. Sometimes when you're on a page, I know that on the car and driver website, a lot of times they'll have a button that says tech specs, or it'll say um, tech sheet, or it'll say uh, track sheet. 
And that's actually, the track sheets are really cool because it's the actual guy who's driving the car and he writes notes, handwritten notes on it. And it's usually just an image file or PDF. Those are my favorite to find. Hard to come across though. Um, harder to find than it used to be.